Hi everybody, Patrick here from EscapeRoomElectronics.com, PaintballProps.com, and EngineeringShock.com. This is just a for fun video uh, showcasing the very, very beginnings of my latest prop. And uh, I'm going to give you a better view of everything in just a second. What we've got here are five RFID readers. Um, down there, a main uh, controller board. Hopefully you can see my arm. And an electromagnet. Power supply is off to the right. Uh, each of these RFID readers has three cards that correspond to them. So you have extras. They can be cut up because the coil is right in the middle. If you actually look at the cards under the light, you can actually see where the coils are. So you can uh, remove the coils or cut around the coils or just use the cards and attach them to uh, statues or you can place them in uh, behind paintings or you can pa put them in paintings, mount the RFID readers behind the wall and these RFID readers actually read the card from about uh, two centimeters away, maybe a little bit more. So you mount the RFID readers, and as you can see, they're uh, connected via removable uh, USB cables, which connect to the main board. Now, the main board has so much extra uh, functionality, I haven't implemented any of it yet. Uh, high volume audio output to your uh, sound system, so sound bites, uh, uh, verbal commands, uh, a timer board, uh, uh, wireless control, LED button, uh, or really, I can do really do whatever I want with interfacing this board, the main controller board, with another board. In any way, what happens is I power it up, this basic program, I power it up, and the electromagnet magnetizes. And as soon as five cards, the, the correct cards, uh, touch the, or come in contact with the uh, or close contact with the relative antennas, if all five of the antennas receive a uh, positive, then the electromagnet uh, disengages. So all five have to have the right card uh, near the antenna. So as you can see, three cards, those three cards are programmed for this unit. So they are the only cards in the world that will work with that unit. Those cards will work with that unit, and so on. So let me give you a, a better look and a little demonstration. First, I'm going to power up. I'm going to turn on my 12 volt AC adapter. And I'm going to stand up the electromagnet. Uh, now, I'm going to give you a quick look at the uh, RFID readers. Now, what you might notice is the th uh, left three RFID readers have a green LED. That's green power LED. The rightmost has a red LED. It's just because the reader boards have a different manufacturer. And the second from the right is working just fine. It's powered up, but unfortunately the uh, I damaged the uh, the power LED when I was soldering the reader board into my own custom printed circuit board. So that doesn't matter. If I place the wrong card, uh, an incorrect card, near a reader, the LED on the board, the red LED says no, that's a bad card. If I take one of the cards that correspond to this unit, the blue LED, the yes LED, the good LED, turns on for about 10 seconds and then turns off. But if you have the card consistently within the reach of the antenna, the blue LED will essentially stay on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly, uh, I'm going to zoom back out and you're going to watch me do this uh, com uh, from scratch. You're going to watch me disengage the unit and the electromagnet should fall off. Okay, this is the second time I'm actually filming this because the first time the blue LEDs caused my camera to go out of focus, so I'm hoping that's not going to happen again. So let's do this quickly. There we go. And there you have it. So right now the software is uh, very simple. All it does is turn the uh, Electromagnet off and then on again. Uh, I have so much that I can do with this board; it's unbelievable. I'm, I'm really uh, looking forward to doing a lot uh, with this. Um, I have some uh, some great ideas, but this is just a for fun video, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, just use your imagination. These readers can go behind paintings, uh, under objects, uh, sorry, under under a pedestal. Um, you can place objects on top. You can really do a whole lot with it, and the uh, extensions are very long, so you don't even have to do it side by side. You can do it uh, around in a circle if you'd like, as long as you're mounting them properly. The RFID reader boards are about 
two and a half inches by an inch and a half, and the main board is about three inches by two inches roughly. But yeah, so thanks for watching. This is just a for fun video. I spent a bunch of time this, uh, today and uh, basically throughout the week trying to get this done because it got a Kickstarter going on. Uh, just wanted to share. So for those of you watching, thank you very much for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video.